Alright guys, so for today's video, we got Napoli. Napoli? I'm gonna say Nap Napoli like Nap uh, Napoleon, but it's probably wrong. Whatever. We'll get it right once I start actually Googling how to say it, which probably be soon, surely. Uh, but today we'll be talking about her kits, her stats, and all that jazz. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off right now, guys. Heavy Cruiser. Now check this out. I'm gonna use my marker again. Look at this health right here. 7,309 HP. That's insane. That's that's a lot. I think that's like a thousand easily over the next highest uh, heavy cruiser in the game. That's like large cruiser tier for HP. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's off to a good start. Like health like this makes her automatically very, very good because of that giant health pool. It's a lot. Firepower on the lower side, but she is pretty durable, so it's, that's like acceptable. Torpedo 224, anti-air 263, reload 185, not bad. Accuracy 157, evasion 75, and speed 28. So her big takeaway stat here is definitely going to be the HP. It is very high compared to your average uh, heavy cruiser. Even like you are, heavy cruisers don't have this much. Uh, so yeah, there's actually a really good step in making heavy cruisers be much more than just DPS machines, that's for sure. So that's a really, really good um, update for uh, Napoli, for the Italian faction. Now for the limit break stuff, for uh, dev levels, at 5 we have HP, anti-air, evasion. Uh, I think SGM is like the sub gun mount like the mid, the middle one or whatever the secondary one. Oh, secondary that's what it means yeah sure uh secondary plus one start mission okay whatever that's like whatever so i think most of these are whatever until like 25 so let's look at 25 25 you get hp anti -air evasion and low hp i have no idea what that means low hp maybe a skill or whatever and then at 30 you get six stars siren killer aoa all efficiency by five percent so it's not that huge I think you want uh, 25 to make her be usable because since she's not a DPS ship, this extra stuff right here is just like, you don't really need it. Her big takeaway is definitely going to be 25 right here. So efficiencies, we have 150 on CAs and then 70% on CL guns and then uh, ants here is 105. So a gunboat. Similar to um, Hindenburg, but Hindenburg can use two heavy cruiser guns, so she's not DPS by, by any means. Pretty much a tank heavy cruiser, so interesting. Anyways, her first skill is going to be gains a, a special secondary gun, fires uh, every second, 10% firepower and evasion. When an enemy uh, unit is within 40 units range, they really got to find a better way to measure these out. But 40 units shouldn't be like that far distance, it's probably like three or four ships in front of you uh, her main gun secondary gun and her special uh, special secondary gun slots ignore shields not sure where this will actually be useful maybe for uh, strength arbiter but I don't think it like I would eh, you could probably use her there I guess if you're not using like if you're not using a carrier setup you could probably get her value there because if you were in carrier setup, you, you were like serious um, uh, air raid assistance and Helena. So if you want to do like strength arbiter, like battleships, she could probably be useful there. Her second skill is at the start of the battle and every 20 seconds after deploys a smoke screen that lasts up to five seconds. Ships within smoke screen gain 40% evasion, does not stack with other smoke screens. After deploying the smoke screen, deploys a fueled smoke shell every 0.5 seconds for five seconds. Field smoke shell lasts one second. It only affects Napoli. What does field smoke shell even mean? Okay, when Napoli is within the field sh uh, smoke shell, self evasion 40%. So 40 on top of 40, I think it's mo uh, stackable. Um, and her secondary gun efficiency at 100% is not. Okay, so it's basically high evasion. Basically, again, high evasion, a lot of HP. This is actually a really good tank. She's basically the power creep to Anchorage right here. Someone's gonna have to do some crazy math, but for this ship, stacking evasion is the way to go. To get more value out of these 40% evasion rates, oops, sorry. Um, you would want to stack as much evasion as possible for this ship. So like washing machines and any sort of like crazy good like evasion gear 
would be really really good for her. You could probably stack HP as well too, but you want to get value out of these 40% because her HP is already super high at 7,309. So you want to stack evasion right here to get high value from this. And then she pretty much can't be dead at all. She basically survives all fights. This is actually going to be a disgusting ship. Because she has probably uh, about the same DPS as a large cruiser, if not more. And she's very, very durable. Probably more durable than half the large cruisers in the game as of right now. Which is really good. So next we got Siren Killer. And then AOA, the usual stuff. So yeah, her kit is basically her first two skills. Uh... Decent damage, not like the best. I don't think her damage is going to be like over like Unzen or Hindenburg or Plymouth by any means. But she has a lot of evasion with her secondary skill. And she has 1,300 HP probably more than like the next heavy cruiser. This is basically large cruiser tier health right here. It's actually really disgusting. I'm probably going to have to look at some um, uh, auxiliaries or whatever. I could probably look like right now. Like yeah, let's go look right now before I... Uh, do all that fancy fancy schmancy stuff you want to stack auxiliaries that probably give evasion so we were to look by stats right here um sorts uh can we sort by stats not anti-air where is it at stats uh evasion and then auxiliary uh evasion so Oh yeah, this is probably like the wrong one right here. Um, not this one. This one. How do I reset this? Uh oh. Um, let's put HP. Okay, this is. All right, I, I hate this. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna we're gonna sort it the old-fashioned way. So if we start by auxiliaries, I'm gonna sort by auxiliaries. Evasion stuff is probably gonna be things like why oh I probably because I don't have any washing machines on me. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Okay, well um you'll probably wanna stack, let's say this is not whatever. This is okay. This is alright. But evasion is what you really want here. So definitely you wanna have washing machines because that's 49, and then you get like the chance to evade everything, which is very good. And then beaver badge is okay if you want to go fast that, that's like a solid choice this can be equipped by heavy cruisers so this is like pretty much like you ignore that i don't think you would want to have this i mean the reload would be nice for secondary guns but like you don't really want that i feel like the best auxiliary for her is definitely going to be the um the uh washing machines and anti-em commands can definitely work out as well too but there's probably like a better choice in here if someone's like in my comments right now can tell me like a really good evasion auxiliary then you probably want to run that like this is 15 but you can definitely get more value from evasion i would say beaver squad badge and washing machines is going to be very solid if you guys want to stack all hp as well too that's fine but you probably want to do that stuff to get like big value from the secondary skill or whatever. Alright, I'm done looking. Huh? I'm going back to the uh, other stuff. But yeah, I like her kit a lot. Oh, I should show you guys the other stuff as well too. Um, where is it at? The uh, gameplay stuff. So let me go ahead and show you guys this. Um, yeah, this stuff right here. Like, here's a gameplay of how she works. But yeah, this ship is basically the Anchorage power creep. I'm pretty sure that like Anchorage loses to this ship in every way possible, aside from being able to use a very powerful auxiliary, which is the auxiliary that gives Eagle Union ships eight seconds of uh, invulnerability at the end. Otherwise, though, if it's just a straight like flat stat, no auxiliaries included, then I'm pretty sure this ship wins like this flat out. She's very powerful in terms of durability and evasion. Pretty much never gonna go down. You're pretty much always gonna survive a fight as long as this, this ship has a lot of evasion procking her, um, uh, gaining value from her second skill. So I like it a lot. Definitely a very good tank ship by all means. Um, probably won't get a lot of damage value out of her. So if you guys are lacking in damage department, then I wouldn't use this ship. But if, you, if we're doing like say a fight like the last meta fight. Or even this meta fight where like you take so much damage from the meta from like boss 
then having a ship like this will definitely make your life much easier because this ship pretty much will never take any damage at all. So that's what I think. Very solid ship, very durable, a proper ship for the Italian faction. Now they just need DPS and we're good to go. But for a tank wise though, there she is very, very good. She basically covers all um, Italian frontline deep, uh, tanking scenarios. Good to go. All right, so let me know what you guys think. I think the ship is very, very good. I'll be working on her second. I think her kit is very fine and powerful. Definitely something to consider um, when you want to run a tank ship. Otherwise though, she is green. She has boobs. You can't go wrong with her. All right, so thank you guys for watching as always. I'm out of here. Have a good one. Peace out.